Hi there, it's Joan Green, and thanks for coming to Create With Me. Um, today we're going to be doing kind of a quick Create With Me. I am on the floor, which is a little different than usual. And the other day I, um, I kind of mentioned the challenge of trying to make some art just with um, some paper that you might have around the house. And so I wanted to kind of challenge myself and see if that would be fulfilling to just make some art um, on the ground with some paper. So I'm just trying to simplify the art materials and you know just use what we have at home. So I've got this uh, paper that I used for um, my move. I think I mentioned I just moved to Washington and so we have this paper and I just thought could this be a, a creative tool? I think so. So um, I'm just gonna see what I can make, um, kind of an ephemeral piece of art, which means it's just an art piece that's kind of temporary and that it can change really easily. So I'm not even gonna use glue or anything. I'm just gonna tear paper and maybe crumple paper and just see if I can use this just to make something creative on this cloth that, I, that I'm sitting on. Um, I think this will just be kind of a short create with me. Um, it's around dinner time and um, you know I'm kind of ready to end my day and so I just wanted to I just kind of had like a little burst of creativity so I just thought that I would try this. So um, I hope that you'll enjoy this create with me and we'll be doing this for probably I don't know 10 minutes or so. I'm not going to time it today. I'm just going to see how long it takes and um, then I'll show you what I come up with at the end. So go get some paper that you have around the house and, you know, if you feel like if it's comfortable for you to get on the floor, do that. Um, you know, being on the floor is really grounding and whenever I'm um, feeling anxious or feeling kind of airy, I like to get on the ground and just kind of um, just, you know, ground myself and, and, you know, just feel more in touch with um, the earth. So here I am. I've got this um, teal colored blanket and um, you can find something at home to use um, just anything that's kind of solid so that that it's kind of a different color than whatever your paper color is um, so I'm gonna start now and we'll see how this goes have fun Just wanted to mention how therapeutic it is to just tear paper. Um, so if you're ever feeling angry or just like you want to get your mind off of something, tearing paper is a great activity. It's it's just uh, really tactile. It's good for kids. Good for adults. Um, you can tear really fast and kind of randomly, or you can tear really intentionally, like you know trying to get certain shapes. Right now, it just feels good to me to just tear kind of randomly, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so normally these videos are real time where you're just creating alongside of me, but I feel like this one might need a little more direction, so I might speak to you a little bit more often than usual. So we're just tearing, we're just having fun tearing. It doesn't have to be any certain shape. I mean, it's just kind of the act of like tearing, which makes you feel more present, it has a nice sound, it's pretty fun, you know, I'm just like really here with this paper and I'm just going to tear. Once I have some pieces, um, and you can do this any way you want, um, I don't know, I just feel like I kind of want to be kind of random with this, so I'm just going to have fun like throwing them up and seeing what happens, and just even, <laughs> even just the, the look of how it looks like when you 
when it falls. It's just sort of beautiful, kind of like leaves. So now I, I think I'm going to take my paper and kind of roll it. And whatever you're doing with your paper is great. <laughs> this is just what I'm feeling, but you can do whatever you want with your paper. Um, I just kind of feel like I want this to kind of contain my, my random pieces. So I'm going to kind of use this as a border. Paper is such an amazing material. It's so simple. We take it for granted. But it's really a very open-ended material. It's fun for artists to use. I love that sound. The crunchiness of it. I love this kind of process art because there's no wrong way to do it. This paper is staying really twisted, which is pretty cool. Stays up, kind of. It's kind of fun to experiment with it and see what you can make it do. you've got all the components together then you can start kind of doing the fine details and kind of noticing what is what's what your art piece is saying to you um you know I just love creating when I don't really know what I'm making and that's totally okay and it's really important I think because sometimes we don't really know what we're what we're processing um, until we actually see our artwork and then it kind of tells us the message that we're supposed to know from it. I'm gonna make that into like a ball. I like this idea of like these kind of tall mountains or like, I don't know, kind of makes like a nice arch. Now I'm just going to position things and see what happens. I don't know. At first I thought these things were, that these little pieces were going to be the inside, but now they're becoming kind of the outside. So that's okay. Things can change. Yep. Things can fall. It's all all right. I do want that up. Kind of move around your piece and see it from different angles. I like this creating on the ground because you can kind of really be with the art piece, be a little closer, seems a little more hands-on. It's a little 
bit more like a game too. <laughs> Trying to get all these pieces on the outside so that the, this arch doesn't fall. Now I'm looking at this in terms of color and I'm kind of noticing like I want to see more of the green. Um, so I'm going to be moving things around so I can see more of the green in the middle. I'm not sure what this is saying to me yet, so I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, but the arch seemed really important to me, so I really wanted that to be like kind of lifted. So that might be something important. And these do need to go out, so I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I like them outside. Now I'm just kind of looking at the art piece. I feel like it's done and I'm not sure what it means and that's okay. <laughs> um, a lot of times it'll, like whatever it is supposed to be, it'll kind of come to you, but sometimes it doesn't and that's okay. I think I might just kind of leave this here for a while and just kind of, you know, walk by it from time to time and see how I feel about it and see if the meaning speaks to me. I'm, you know, I, I have been having quite a transition with moving and so it could be related to that. I don't know. I kind of feel like the arch is like something grand, like something important and maybe maybe this kind of balled up piece is kind of like, I don't know, maybe some anxiety or like something kind of balled up that wants to, like a root ball maybe that like wants to burst and like and open up and expand. Um, that is kind of speaking to me. Maybe this is like all these little pieces around are the, it, it's my community, um, friends, family, things that I know, things that I don't know yet, but just kind of surrounding, maybe surrounding me to support me. So that's kind of the story I'm telling through this art piece right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty incredible. So I guess it does work. <laughs> I guess it does work to make an art piece with just some scrap paper that you have around. And I don't know if you can see it good enough, but let's see if I can. This is kind of what it looks like in the end. That was super fun. Um, I hope that you had fun with that. I think, again, I think this would be a great activity to do with kids if you're a parent um, or a teacher. Um, I don't know. I think especially with all this online teaching, I think it's really fun for kids to like go get some materials. Um, if you know, before or like during a zoom class, you could have the kids go and get a paper, you know, any kind of paper and then, um, have them just kind of make something and then kind of reflect on what they made. So I think that's a really powerful thing for children and adults and anyone who has, what was that about 10 minutes? <laughs> if you've got 10 minutes, you can create. So thank you for creating with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.